would be your gunsmith. Who sent you to find this person? Daisy Fitzroy. She's either a great hero or the worst of scoundrels, depending on who's doing the telling. She's good for an airship. I don't care if she's the Queen of Holland. Whose purpose is to keep order amongst the lesser creatures. Then you have the cow, the beasts of burden. Now they provide <laughs> going to get into Finkton. Illegally. Let's look for another way in. Fink Industries is not recruiting hmm. at this time. Please come again. Hmm. Can you help me out with this lock? Done. Over there, a service elevator. I should take us down to Finkton. And get ourselves killed in the bargain. Come out where I can see you! We hold these truths to be self-evident! So, here! Okay, catch! My aim is true, as a Oh! 
gunsmith Chen Lin, wanted for known connections to the outlaw Daisy Fitz. Did you take a look at this? No like problem. Guy's drawn attention. That's not good, is it? No. All done. It's Slate's locker. He must have worked here. Uh, this is my mother's diary. Why would Slate have it? My husband claims the child was created from whole cloth by divine will. I am a believer, but I am not a fool. His bastard shall not be raised under this roof. My mother. She had me locked in that tower. Elizabeth. I just want to get out of this city. Please. Greetings. My name is Jeremiah Fitz. And I want to share with you my personal creed. What is the most admirable creature on God's green earth? Why, it's the bee. Have you ever seen a bee on vacation? Have you ever seen a bee take a sick day? Well, my friends, the answer is no. So I say, be the bee. Be the bee. Maybe you should get that. Uh, hello? Mr. DeWitt? Uh, yes? Hold for Mr. Fink, please. What's going on? DeWitt, Fink here. Listen, my boy, we've had our eye on you, and I can tell you right now that you are our top candidate. Top! <laughs> now, uh, my associate, Mr. Flambeau, will help you with anything you need. <laughs> What the hell was that? I have no idea. He seems oddly pleased to make your acquaintance. Well, the man's got an ego. Some shady establishment. You see, the Fink Company 
store brings you Think products at a price designed specifically for the Think worker. Mr. DeWitt, welcome to Finkton. You'll find a variety of supplies here that should see you through your visit. What does Mr. Fink want with us? Excuse me, miss, but Mr. Fink's interest is strictly in the gentleman. But why... So sorry, young miss, but any questions regarding the gentleman's application should be taken up with Mr. Fink directly. Does this strike you as good news? Doesn't strike me as good news. What do you think? Head to the gunsmith or scavenge supplies by the clock shop? Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes now, bit fourteen. Give me fourteen. Here it is, Booker. Chen Lin, gunsmith. So, don't let money I have a pressing need to speak to this so-called false shepherd, stirring up so much trouble. We got enough problems without this damn fool shooting up the city and blaming it all on the Vox. Though if he's amiable, yeah, yeah, he might be just the fellow we need for our immediate concerns. Gautama Buddha. Who? The founder of Buddhism. Spent 49 days under a Bodhi tree until he achieved enlightenment. Well, someone tells me Comstock doesn't cater to idols getting worship that ain't him. Hello? Hello? Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Is anybody here? What happened here? Someone worked this place over. Local constabulary, no doubt. Someone downstairs. Excuse me. Now I'm sorry to bother you. I'd... We're looking for Mr. Lin. Mr. Chen Lin. Booker. Mr. Lin, not here. Gone. Gone? They take flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha. Pray, give husband back. Give back to Meilin. Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to good time club. Where is this club? <laughs> Ma'am, please, where, where is this club? Booker, we'll find it. Just leave her be. Why not Vox Bully help Chen Lin? Why not Daisy Fitzroy help Chen Lin? Who is Flying Squad? Cops. The kind who probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're working for? As a matter of fact, it is. Right, let's figure out where this good time club is.
outside, and your boy's got the mumps, and you've got nothing on your table. See how I might have changed your sense of that. Protected. Job's a job. Side and find Mr. Lin and just call me Booker. Find Shen Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint Do it the now, other Don applicants. Our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. He's something of an old hand at handling explosives. Only man I know who hasn't <laughs> lost a limb working with them. <laughs> Yet. Thank you. 
interested in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fink security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want.
Want to hold on to this? There's a door over here. I think that's the way down. I had thought you a fool, dear brother. When you told me that you heard wonderful music trumpeting from holes in the thin air, I began to doubt your mental integrity. But not only have you made your fortune from these doodads, you have lit the path for me as well. Modern woman, it's 1912. It's gonna be 2012 before I'm interested in one like you. What's going on? After him! Oh! I'll get you. I found some money. Want it? Cell number nine. Think you can crack this one open? Let me have a look. I used to work for folks like Fink. Really? And I was with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. It's done. from the Vox Populi. Secret codes? The cipher should be around somewhere. I 
thought you a fool, dear brother, when you told me that you heard wonderful music trumpeting from holes in the thin air, I began to doubt your mental integrity. But not only have you made your fortune from these doodads, you have lit the path for me as well. Uh, throw a bucket of ice water on him. We got three more to bring in tonight. What's that smell? Ain't no privies down here. To tax the black more than the white. Is that not cruel? To forbid the mixing of the races, is that not cruel? To give the vote to the white man and deny it to the yellow, the black, the red, is that not cruel? But is it not cruel to banish your children from a perfect garden? Or drown your flock under an ocean of... What have you done to deserve to be locked up in a place like this? Fink don't need much of a reason. No. No, he doesn't. House of the Lord. A slave. He looks. You were right. Sparing him was no mercy. Here. No problem. Got it. Get this open? Give me a second. This is it, isn't it? Yep. Number nine. Done. Do it? You're a lion. But you can't blame me for looking after my own interests, can you? No, I know Fitzroy you hold on to this. come calling. But I think you'll find your business with her has come to an end. <laughs> lions walk with lions, do it? Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. What the hell did- I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want? What do you see here, from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Shen Lin. The body's gone. It was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through to this other Columbia. <sighs> it's like riding a bicycle. One never really forgets. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. If we go into this tear, I don't think I'll 
be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? Another world, Booker. Another Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. how Chen Lin is alive now. We're in a world where he was never murdered. Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that. And have everything else remain the same. These men... They killed them. They were dead. Not in this world. Look at their noses. They're... They're all bleeding. They remember. Remember what? Being dead. What is going on here, Sasquark? As my head of security, I suspect you are one of my dad. How did these two slip past your men? And what they were doing in the This makes my head hurt. That'll do! 
Briggs. Need these socks? You know, who's that? Uh, see what else I can find. That'll do. That's all I have right now. It's straight from a man's hand. What goes in its place? Whiskey, women, and dice. And I, for one, will not have that in our friendly what? little town. No, sir. I will not. Looks like Fink isn't giving you the job. Hear anything? Huh? No machines. No tools. Let's go find that gunsmith. Book of luck. He's upstairs now. The shrine. It's a figure of Comstock now. Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines very dangerous. No place for stupid people. Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin- Downstairs! What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in, in some way he remembers that too. How would you reconcile that? I don't know. his troubled thoughts. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I Mrs. Lin? No, I, I mean a little Chinese lady. She was... Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. They took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe... 
if, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lynn, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police. They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. Would having his tools back fix his mind? Who cares? We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to Shantytown. Did you notice? Lin had a bloody nose. Seems to be in style. Somebody comes along and tells you that you're getting the short end of the stick. Do you know what they're really saying? <laughs> they're saying, friend, what you do doesn't matter. Friend, you are being taken for a fool. Friend, better than a slave. Appreciate it. Any last words? Wanna hold on to this? You wanna ask me, ask me. About uh, what? My finger. Uh, sorry, I didn't. It's alright. It's as much a mystery to me as anyone else. Maybe Songbird knows, but he's not talking. I'm, I'm sorry. What for? I get to wear this stylish thing to keep his deformity.
You must think me some sort of... freak. A girl who can bring dead men back to life. Whose only acquaintance is a... a giant bird creature. I must seem ridiculous. You just got dealt a bad hand. I am not going back to that tower no matter what happens. They won't stop until they have you. Why? What did I do to them? You frightened them. Good. This is what they want, brothers. To keep you so hungry, you can't speak but to me. To keep you so ignorant, you can't think of solutions to all your problems. To keep you chasing that almighty silver eagle so you can buy everything. They're selling to keep you down, brothers. But These people Daisy are like this because of a thing. Maybe Daisy's right. Maybe she should pay him back for all of this. Not before she pays us. We're here for guns and then the airship. I guess we could head straight for the police station. Or see what's in that bar. What do you think? Come on, come on! Hurry up! Hit it! I hit it harder! Hit it harder! You're only making a goddamn a tear over there. I'm hungry, Bill! Once or twice, all out of me, didn't I? I don't give a damn if we live or die. Everything I got is done and wrong. Everything I got is done and wrong. Pardon my watch. I don't understand. Pardon my Some people are treated like men. Others like animals. There's plenty of places down below where you'll find more of the same. Like it. A wounded knee. Yeah. Like a wounded knee. We're gonna have to get through an army we to get those tools. That the gunsmith was making weapons for the Vox. We squashed that gunsmith like a bug and took his tools for our own. Make no mistake, soldiers. The Vox and weapons. Oh, yes, yes, sir. Thanks!
Elizabeth? Sure thing! Booker, catch! See what else I can find! Vengeance is mine!